Hello everybody, Sergeant Soldier, and we're back with another How To Rust. And today we're looking at something from Devlog126, and it's something that a lot of people have been complaining about for the last week or so, and that is the FOV change with a lot of our weapons. Yes, a lot of people don't like it, myself included. However, there was a reason the developers put it in, and basically that was just because the rifles and everything looked too elongated and quote-unquote strange to them. So by changing the FOV, it actually made all the weapons look really, really stubby. And for those of you that like the realism like I do, it didn't really hit the mark. So today what we're going to do is we're going to check out all the weapons that I have assembled here. And we're going to look at the actual real versions of those weapons. Or close to it. Some of them I found and some of them I didn't. And we're going to see how the actual FOV of our weapon versus the real weapon compares. And not only that, the front sight post of almost every single one of them. Because some of them are really great and some of them are just plain garbage. So starting off, we're going to be looking at the bolt action rifle. Now this is the one thing, the major change that everyone absolutely hates. They have been up in arms about it. They don't like it. They hate how stubby it looks. And honestly, I have something to tell you. Check this out. They fixed it. Now looking at our bolt action rifle, you can see the front sight post is really sharp and really pointy. Looking at a real bolt action rifle, you can see it's almost the same exact thing. Now of course, our bolt action is apocalypse made, so it is slightly different, but you will notice a lot of similarities. It looks pretty similar, right? The fact that they actually changed the front side post in this thing is absolutely awesome. And look at that. Oh, okay. Thank you. Still just as accurate. You can actually see what you're aiming at very, very easily. And the target isn't hidden by this massive front side post that this thing used to have. Now moving on, we have the next three weapons, the AK, the 249, and our custom SMG. Now the AK, if you look at our version and the real version, it's actually pretty close, not too bad. In terms of the FOV, it's actually pretty close too. This is more or less where you'd actually put your face on an AK, you'd be resting on the buttstock right there, and this is what it would look like. So, fire a couple off, pew pew. Yeah, pretty good. Put that away. Next up, the M249, which is actually my love of a real M249. As you can see here, our version and the real version are almost identical. Of course, there's a few things different. That's perfectly fine. I feel like the, the rear sight on this is a really, really high compared to the actual real M249. And the, the handle in the front isn't nearly as tall. It's actually a lot shorter, but you know, hey, that's all good. Now looking at the front sight post of both of these, they're pretty much identical. Pop, pop, there you go. Fired a few off. I like it. Next for this box, we have the custom SMG. Now the custom SMG, in my opinion, closely resembles the M3A1 grease gun from World War II. Now, when you look down the sights of this thing, it is absolutely disgusting. This is what the bolt currently looks like on actual live servers, I believe. I'm doing this on a test uh, staging server, so this shouldn't be out currently at this time. So this is what your bolt should look like. This is the SMG. This isn't really what it should be looking like. Now, of course, the grease gun picture that I have here it's really hard to tell because of the way the grease gun's rear sight is. However, I guarantee it is a much, much smaller front sight post and one that you can actually aim at and shoot stuff. Now me aiming right now, I can't honestly tell what I'm aiming at. I can't tell if I'm aiming at the center of the target, if I'm aiming in the red. I'm just gonna guess. See, uh, besides the fact that it's not very accurate. If I aim down here, I mean, yeah, I can kind of tell, but it's just the fact that it's so wide. It completely covers up both not only the yellow, but also the red target area, and a good chunk of the blue. I would love to see this one narrowed down like the bolt was. It's a little too big in my opinion, and I know a lot of people probably agree with me on that, but looking at this and looking at the grease gun, I think there's a lot of things that we can change. So let's put that away, and we're gonna move on to our next box, and that's gonna include the Thompson, our semi-auto pistol, and our revolver. So the Thompson, looking down the sights here, that's actually a Thompson, yeah. Looks really good. There's really not much to say about this. It looks just like a Thompson. The FOV on this one, are, it feels like our face is a little too far forward into the weapon. I feel like we should be backed up a little bit. However, for the most part, the fact that it's got a pointy front sight post, just like the real version of the Thompson, I don't have too many complaints. So I'll fire a few rounds off. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, not too bad. Next up, we have the semi-auto pistol. Now, there are real semi-auto pistols that look pretty much just like this. The picture that I have is a much newer version. It doesn't look anything like our weapon. However, as you can see, it has those three dots on it. 
a lot of pistols actually come with those dots because that helps you to line up your shot. Trying to line up those those three vertical bars there, honestly trying to, to line those up is really difficult. I've shot pistols, I had to do it for my deployment. Without those three dots on my pistol, I would have a lot harder of a time aiming and shooting straight. Now I do have a picture here that'll show you what can happen when those three dots aren't lined up. And as you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot to drive your shot to the left, to the right, up, down, etc. So if we could maybe get some kind of an indicator on our front sight post and our rear sights, just to say, hey, this is lined up the way it's supposed to be. It's somewhat realistic, like a real semi-auto pistol. I think it'd be pretty cool. I like realism. Some of you guys like realism. Yeah. Next up, we have a Western style single action revolver. Now for the most part, the revolver is actually pretty accurate. Looking at the picture of the real revolver, as you can see, the front side post is massive. It's a huge chunk of metal. A lot of them don't have the rear sights like ours does. Most of them are pretty smooth, completely filed down. However, some of them actually do, and really there's not much wrong with this thing. Other than the fact that it feels like wherever you're aiming, sometimes it goes low, sometimes it goes high. This is actually doing pretty good right now. Try to aim at the exact top of that front side post, like that. I'm not even crouching, by the way. And you'll, you'll get pretty close. However, that's a revolver. They're not always accurate, especially these Western-styled ones. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. I hit. So last, but not least, we have our final box. And this is gonna have the LR300, our pump, and our really, really crappy water pipe shotgun. So the LR300, in my opinion, closely resembles the M16. Now looking down the sights of our weapon and an actual real M16, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. They did a really good job. Now, in terms of the, the field of view and having your face embedded into the weapon, this is another one where I feel like we're a little too close. We should maybe take a step back a little bit. But, for the most part, yeah, I like it. It's good. That was fun. Let's put this thing away. Next up, the pump shotgun. Now, it was really difficult finding a picture of a pump shotgun, and unfortunately, I couldn't get one that's looking down the sights. However, as you can see, the pump shotgun's actually pretty accurate. That's not too bad. There are a lot of different pump shotguns with different front sight posts. A lot of them actually use beads. However, this one, it's really not that bad. So, shoot a bunch of rounds off. Boom, yeah, good stuff. Not bad at all. Now, just like most shotguns, we're probably not gonna be having it next to our face like that. So I feel like the, the field of view should probably be a little bit further back because not very many people put a shotgun right next to their face directly in front of it like we are here. However, it's not the worst. Last but not least, our water pipe shotgun. I couldn't find anything that closely resembled this. It's basically a bunch of copper pipes and some wood. However, I would love to actually see this front side post thinned out a little bit. Maybe something similar to, where are you? There you are. Maybe something similar to the revolver where it's still really tall, but it's kind of narrow. I think that would help a lot of people with this thing because as of right now you're aiming and of course you want to get close because it is buckshot but the fact that this thing is so big it, it kind of feels weird to me now of course you guys might have different opinions about all these weapons you might say hey sergeant soldier the water pipe screw it nobody cares about that it's good enough it's apocalypse made yeah sure everyone's everyone's allowed their opinion right put this back here where it belongs but there are a few things that i definitely think should be changed and the biggest one let see if I can find it. It's definitely the SMG. I would love to get this one filed down just like the new bolt is filed down. So, with that, Sergeant Soldier. I'm actually going to change back to the bolt so you guys can see that one more time. Sergeant Soldier, how to rust. We're looking at not only the new bolt action front sight post, but the FOV changes that were introduced during Devlog 126. And this is a video I'm putting out saying, you know what? I realized that you wanted everything to look a little stubbier and you've definitely succeeded doing that everything looks really 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 stubby but for let's take into account that some of these weapons are actually supposed to look elongated like this one here it's supposed to look elongated it's a bolt action rifle it's not supposed to be like this but anyway sergeant soldier how to rust and we'll see you in the next how to rust video bye bye Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to see more great content from Private Astro or myself, please hit that subscribe button and click on any of the videos above. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next 
Sergeant Soul to our Private Astro video. Bye-bye.